Groups, good to be with you again this week. We're continuing this series on relationship to God. We've talked through fear. Uh, we've talked to, through trust, what it means to be mindful of God. Last week, we talked about what it means to choose God. Um, and this week, we move into this idea of submitting to the Lord and what it means to submit to Him. So I hope you were able to Catch this weekend's teaching. Um, if you didn't get a chance, you make sure you do that sometime this week. Um, but we are going to dive right into group's content this week. And the first question says this. When you hear the word submit, what stereotypes do you think of? Like, do you think of someone who is weak? Do you think of someone who may not have a voice? When you hear the word submit, what do you think of? Question number two, in what ways do you have trouble submitting to the people who are in authority around you? Now for this next one, think about your relationship more to God. Um, what areas of your life do you feel like you haven't fully submitted yourself to God? For this next question, I want you to first read from Matthew 7, 24 through 29. It talks about building a house on a rock. So once you read that, I want you to answer this question together. The word practice is mentioned twice in these verses. What kind of things do you think Jesus means when he talks about this practice? Submitting to the words of God and putting those words into practice are really the same thing. That's what we see when we see the word submit. So what words of God do you have trouble submitting to? Question number six. What does Jesus mean when he says these words of mine? If you'd like some help figuring out what these words of mine and what he's referencing, check out the Sermon on the Mount between Matthew 5, I believe. No, Matthew 6 through Matthew 7 to read a little bit more about what these words of mine would look like. Then the last question, question number seven, I want you to read together from Proverbs 1, verses 2 and 3, and then talk about why it is important to study. In what ways can you make study a bigger part of your life, and who can hold you accountable to those things? And as always, uh, make sure you talk about if there's anything that jumped out to you in the teaching over this past weekend, or if there's something that spoke to you in devotions. I think it's so good for groups to have conversations around some of those things that, that came to life over the weekend. Um, and as always, make sure you pray together. Uh, ask for prayer requests. We love it when our groups are diving into prayer as a group. So make sure you do that before you wrap up. If you do have time and want to spend some time digging deeper. I think the question this week um, is especially fantastic uh, because uh, I actually got to sit in on youth group um, this past Sunday and the students asked this question. So I thought it's actually a really good one for adults to wrestle with as well. So the question is this, should we submit to authority if that authority contradicts the teachings of Jesus? I think it's a fantastic question. Our youth are working through some of that, and I think it'd be great if you guys did too. So take a look at that if you have some time. Otherwise, we will see you guys later.